Welcome everyone to the YouTube channel. I am Toy Nuts today, taking a look at the new Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves Golden Archives Collection uh, Forge figure. This is the character based on Hugh Grant from the new Dungeons and Dragons movie that is going to be coming out here pretty soon. Um, this the figures are starting to drop. I found this one on Amazon for about twenty one dollars. Uh, said it was in stock and ready to ship. Got it in about two days. So. Been really excited for this movie. It looks really cool. So I'm figuring, let's open this sucker up. Let's take a look. And hopefully it will turn out really good. Uh, it's that new stupid Hasbro windowless packaging. We do have the full uh, Photoshop artwork of uh, Hugh Grant from the movie here. Um, not too bad of a packaging. I do like the, all the gold highlights in it to go with the Golden Archive. And that looks really good. Um, on the one side here, you see the just a, like a close-up picture of the Hugh Grant character. Um, his name is going to be Forge in the movie. Uh, looks pretty cool. Nice, clean. And that, so again, it would be good when they're hanging on the pegs. You can find your figure that you're looking for that way. And on the other side, there is a, a small brief description of the uh, character here, calling him Forge, so we knew his name, that he's a thief, and that he's the head of Neverwinter, which is a uh, town from D&D lores and several of their books and that. Uh, really glad they're going that deep with the movie. But of course, being Hasbro, they have to have the multi-languages on the side. Uh, the back, you get an actual picture of the figure, what little accessories he's going to come with. The QR code leads you to dnd.com, And then, of course, all their little legal information. But the figure looks really good on the back. Um, they got it on a photoshopped into like a scene from the movie there. Not too bad. I do like the uh, little golden highlights and everything. Be interesting how the other figures look in this series. So the package will probably stand out and pop pretty good on uh, the shelves and pegs if these ever make it to stores. But hate that windowless packaging. It looks cool, but we're not a person that keeps them in package. I got to let this sucker breathe. Uh, one piece of tape here on the bottom so it's easy to open. And we just slide that. And unlike some of the others where they have like a multiple compartments, this is just one piece. And then uh, they got their little multiple language warning package not to swallow, blah, blah, blah. And here we go. So nice little cardboard coffin here. Um, they got the uh, crossbow here. Pretty plain, but not too bad. Uh, pretty period accurate looking. I mean, I like it, looks all right. No real wash or weathering on it, kind of surprising. Uh, another baggie for, I guess, his dagger and his uh, chalice that he comes with, and then it's a little tight squeeze in there, holds them in pretty good, so don't have to worry about that. And they got, unlike the uh, classified in that, they've been doing uh, themed paper for their figures. D&D &D here, I guess, doesn't warrant it. Just a white bag. At least it's not sealed. Just slide them out, and yeah, he looks pretty cool. All right, not too bad. Uh, pretty decent likeness for Hugh Grant. Really good paint apps, it looks like. I uh, like the shininess for the leather jacket that he has. Uh, really pops the gold. Interesting thing, he does have butterfly joints, so that's good. He'll have some pretty good articulation, but the jacket is really stiff, so that's going to hinder that a little bit. Um, fresh out of the package, not too bad movement. Elbows are pretty tight. Uh, might want to be careful when you uh, get yours. Uh, yeah. I can feel the resistance, might want to heat it up just a little bit, but once it popped, it feels pretty good there. Same thing with the legs. Uh, hips do not drop down. Interesting thing, I do not see a center chest cut, but they are articulated at the waist. So, and interesting, they put the knife in with the uh, belt here in that, and it's not in the accessory bag like I was thinking it would be. Uh, pretty decent, uh, fits in there nice and snug, nice and tight, but yeah. All right, I like it. Nice, uh, good figure. I do not see any paint apps. Uh, rocker ankles and everything, that's good. Swivel wrist. The wrist pegs do not have articulation, though. They only just spin around. They do not go up, down, or side to side, but that's okay, I guess. Um, yeah, looks really good. I like him. Uh, inside this little bag, which, okay, this one is sealed. But I guess it's, since it has some of the smaller, well, the one smaller part, this should just be the chalice since his dagger is in his belt. Just rip this open. And yep, just a little, 
Yeah, just a little uh, chalice. Uh, okay, is this a gold pleat or colored uh, chunk of plastic? Uh, nothing really to it. No detailing. Uh, there's some detail on it, but nothing. I mean, I think a nice little wash would have really helped this. But here he is next to the Forgotten Realms Drizzt character that Hasbro released about two years ago. You can see it looks like they'll scale really well. I haven't opened him yet, but now that I have other figures to display him with, he will be getting opened in a review done very soon, I'm sure. And here's the Forge character next to the uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series Flint and a Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker. You can see they scale in really well, so have good hopes for this line. Yeah, um, quality and detail and all that. I mean, since it's more movie and realistic based, it's going to fit in better with the uh, Black Series than it will with the uh, Classified. Height-wise, I know the Luke is small, but Mark Hamill in real life is actually small. I do not know how much taller Hugh Grant is over him, but I'm sure it is close to uh, accurate scale. So that's good to see. If you need civilians, I guess, uh, want Joe to travel back in time, it does kind of work with the uh, classifieds. Or if you want some new head sculpts, uh, probably just need to dremel and pop the uh, head off to make it fit onto the uh, classified bodies, but not too bad there. Um, another review for the articulation. You can see I set them up here looking like the uh, packaging here, holding the crossbow over his shoulder, but I threw the chalice in his hands instead of holding down his jacket. And uh, yeah, with the uh, triple jointed elbows, you can hit that pose just right. The only bad thing is these wrists do not have any articulation to them. They can just, you know, no uh, up and down movement. So you can't really pop that to really hold the crossbow properly, either they're in that pose or in a good firing position. I would have liked to have seen hands uh, with that articulation or even just a second set of hands. Uh, other than just the standard C grips, but they are nice and tight and they can hold the uh, chalice, the crossbow, or the little dagger here. Um, like I said, they do have butterfly joints in the chest, but that jacket is a little extra thick plastic wise, so it does hinder it just a little bit. So you have to finagle it to really get the shoulders to pull in well. But for posing and photography, yeah, you'll have no issues. Great balance on the figure. I was able to get him to stand like this with the feet splayed and the rocker ankles really help. And then uh, found this nice little treasure chest. So Forge is going to be a typical Dungeons and Dragons rogue and break into it to see what type of treasure he can find. And he's able to get that good crouch in there. Again, different hands would be nice to uh, flat hand or a uh, other type of C grips. Uh, would have been nice, but he does able to hold other objects in his hands, and the hands, you know, might stretch to hold it, but they go right back, and so that's good to see. Um, really love this line. I can, I highly recommend it. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan, I definitely got to get these. Um, if you're just an action figure fan, get at least one. Give it a shot. Give it a good review. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this line. I'm thrilled to see that I that, that Hasbro is actually supporting the brand and all that even though with all the other stuff that's been going on recently not going to get into that so drop a comment down below what you think of this line what you think of the Dungeons and Dragons figures if you're collecting are you excited for the movie or not thank you for watching this video please give it a like hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications and as always excelsior